Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another unboxing of the latest release from By the Well for God. I have the devotional kit as well as all the extra goodies kind of off camera here. I even remembered to print the printables, <laughs> so I'll be sharing that with you. Grab a snack, this is going to be a longer video like most of my um, unboxings are. If you're wanting just a quick look at everything, definitely head on over to my blog where I will have close-up photos as well as the color swatches and all that goodness as well as the affiliate links. Those will be down below this video and over on my blog so you can check that out. I will have that link down below for you guys. But um, this month we have the devotional kit is This I Know, Foundational Truths to Stand On. Um, this kit was available for pre-sale. I try to be sure to post it here on YouTube. So that should have popped up for those of you who are subscribers. I also post about the pre-sale over on my Instagram. Um, so be sure to be subscribed or following me in one of those two places. I'm trying to be more intentional about posting those when they're live for you guys so that you know. Um, but the pre-sale is over, but it is still available in the shop. So there are still kits available. So again, those links will be down below. Those are affiliate links. Thank you so much for all of you that supported us through 2020 through those affiliate links. I was able to feed my kids, buy them shoes, pay for my car when it broke down because of you guys shopping those affiliate links. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, but let's dive in and take a look at the devotional kit for this month. So again, this I know foundational truths to stand on. And um, I believe about 99.9% .9 of us were completely rocked by 2020, right? Like anything that we thought we knew or thought it was going to be in January of last year, uh, or this, you know, 2020, it was flipped on its head, turned upside down and totally different than what we thought it was going to be. Some of us, you know, faced deaths and tragedy and things like that, losses of jobs and just all kinds of chaos in 2020. Um, but one thing I know that for me personally, I found was safety and peace um, and hope in my Bible and the word of God. And so um, we're going to be talking about some of those foundational truths that we can hold on to. You know, we have hopes and, in, in, you know, are praying that 2021 is better than 2020, but who knows? It could even be worse than 2020. I don't want to put that out there. <laughs> I've been praying that it won't be but you know we don't know we didn't expect 2020 to be the way that it was so even if it is worse or you know whatever it brings to us this next year we there are some truths and some foundations that we can hold on to in the bible and so we're going to look at some of those so here we have an introduction to the devotional content. I love what she says here. Looking back on the past year of unknowns and uncertainty, I found some valuable reminders that God impressed upon my heart. They were very basic and foundational, but sometimes we need to go back to the basics, don't we? Come with me this month on a faith refresher course as I share foundational truths we all need to remember. And then we've got some prayers and things like that. So we are back to a 14-day devotional. I know the last month's devotional was 25 days. That was for Christmas, but we're back to the standard 14-day devotional. Um, um, there is some room to work through this devotional in inside right in here, but there's also some additional Traveler's Notebook inserts you can work in. But I think that this would be a fun topic to do in um, a mini book or memory decks cards. You know, we're talking about foundational truths, maybe in your planner or a notebook, something like that, where you can revisit it over and over and over again. Maybe as things get hard this year, you can pull out those truths or flip through it. So doing a separate project might be fun to do um, in addition to your Bible journaling or instead of your Bible journaling. I think that would be a lot of fun. If you can hear my dryer in the background, sorry. Sorry, it needs to be fixed. We're just hoping and praying that we don't have to replace it. <laughs> it's making all kinds of noise. Okay, so we're going to go through the 14 days, and it's set up with some devotional content. There's plenty of scripture, as always, from By the Well for God, plenty of scripture to study. Um, and then you've got some prompt questions. And again, like I said, there is a little bit more space in this devotional month to work on the questions directly here in the devotional. And one thing I really love that's different about this particular month is the this I know section. So again, we're talking about this I know foundational truths to stand on. So let's say you read the devotional content, and you're not quite sure, like, what am I supposed to be trying to pull out of this? I don't know about you. Sometimes I don't quite grasp what, you know, where it's trying to lead me with the scripture or with the title or that kind of thing. Um, not very often, but sometimes I love that they did this little section right here. But this I know God chose us making us of infinite worth and value. You just want to cry out. Thank you, Lord. 
This I know, God is good in spite of circumstances, right? So you've got your topic right here highlighted for you. This I know, the whispers of his glory are everywhere. Um, and so there is your foundational truth that you can hold on to. So I love that they did that. There's also some different styles of prompts in here, like this one here, making a list of all that God did for you as found in Ephesians 1, 3 through 6. And then you've got a list area here. So there's some different styles of questions and prompts. Again, that highlighted this I know area, but then you're gonna see some things typical from By the Will for God. Really great um, sound devotional content with plenty of scripture. Um, I'm really looking forward to just digging in. My word of the year for next year is going to be explore. I'm going to be really investing a lot more time into exploring my Bible, studying it, being in it more regularly, um, and not just Bible journaling a verse, but actually studying it and doing studies. And I'm going to be do reading the Bible through the whole year and, and just really kind of getting back to foundation, right? Just getting back to the bare bones of things. Um, this year has been crazy. And we've seen a lot of divisiveness in even the Bible journaling community, which as sad as that is, it's happened. Um, you know, we've got all these different doctrines kind of floating around and, and it's kind of competing and causing this division. And, and so let's get back to some of the just foundational truths that can be found in the Bible. You can't argue about those. The Bible says what it says, and that's all there is to it. And so I'm excited to kind of go through and study some of those um, throughout the year. And this will be a great devotional to start that out with. Now, as we're talking about foundational truths, I don't know about you, but foundation makes you think of buildings and houses, right? So we're going to be seeing lots of that kind of imagery throughout the kit, some doorways, you know, we have Christ as the cornerstone. So you've got lots of stonework and things like that. So I really love how the imagery ties in with the devotional content. And you know, Gail and I are purple loving girls. So we know our hearts are happy seeing the purple in the kit this month. So there is a devotional content. Everything comes in a drawstring bag so you can keep everything together. And then these are the fun goodies that you can use to work through the kit. So we've got the clear stickers. You get three sheets of clear stickers. You have this sheet here with the faux washi strips. You're gonna see lots of this really fun kind of alcohol ink um, texture here. And I'm hoping, hoping, my goal is to be able to get back to filming. I know I've been saying that for like the last six months, um, but I'm bound and determined to, to do it. So uh, I wanted to show you some alcohol ink on vellum um, type tutorials. And so this will give you that similar look. But here you've got that washi strips. You've got these fun kind of keys and keyholes and doorknobs. Love that. Super fun. Again, these are clear stickers. So they're going to just blend right in with your page. And then you have these beautiful florals. I mean, these are just stunning. I love these. And you do also get, when you purchase the kit, now because they're over at buythewellforgod.com, they're no longer on Etsy. Go to buythewellforgod.com to order this kit. When you order the kit, they will instantly email you um, it's already set up to email you the files for the digital. So you'll have all these graphics in digital form for free when you order the kit. So you can print these out as many times as you want for personal use. You can scale them different sizes, print them on different mediums. That so really gives you some additional variety to the kit. Next up, we have the journaling cards. So you've got these fun little cards. I live on God's street. We need each other and look for his glory. And then the back is just giving you some area to do some journaling. So you could maybe put a verse here on the front and then do your prayer or um, just regular journaling on the back and create like a little tip in in your Bible or something like that. Maybe you're wanting to create a mini book. These would be great little inserts for that. Uh, I just love, you know, the quality of the print and the detail is just always spot on with By the Will for God. You're really getting good quality. You have the little verse card for the kit. So this I know, the key verse, John 1, 14, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. So there's your key scripture. And then you've got two little bow clippies. And again, like I always mentioned, don't be afraid to take these apart, retie them um, in different configurations or use the fabric as texture elements in your pages if you're not doing um, clippies on the top of your Bible. Next, we have the watercolor swatch card. This is something very unique to the By the Well for God kits. So you're going to get seven different samples of Daniel Smith watercolors. That's these little blobs right here. And then you just take a wet paintbrush to activate it and it pulls out the watercolors. So I've already gone ahead and pulled out the colors so you can see them. You're getting this Viridian Green, Black Tourmaline Gen, Raw Umber, Sap Green, Prussian Green, 
her bright genuine and wisteria these are some of my favorites down here so plenty of paint to work through the kit and they're going to be colors that coordinate with the kit so if you love to play with watercolors and maybe you've got a ton of watercolors that's great i do that but when i'm working through these kits it's nice that i can just pull these out i don't have to go through and try to color match and things like that I don't have to have my whole tin of watercolors i can just work off of what's here on the cards if you've never worked with these before there are directions on the back i also have some tip tuesdays talking about how i use these and how i store them so i'll be sure to link those down below for you guys next we have the little flare pens these are don't waste this and god will make a way the pretty florals and then you've got a little pencil and sharpener these are pins so i wouldn't necessarily use these in a bible journaling entry but these are great for attaching to your bow clips attaching to your bible cover your book bag you know whatever it might be passing it along to somebody there are lots of different ways that you can use the flare pins they're just kind of an added little fun goodie in there You've got your kit sticker. So maybe you got a new Bible for Christmas and you're starting a new Bible and you want to keep track of everything, you know, all the different devotionals that you're working on in that particular Bible. This is great for that. So you can stick this in the front of your Bible. That way you know which devotionals are in that particular Bible. Or you can use this for a um, entry or do like I do. I like to attach these to the front of the um if i'm going to be working in an extra traveler's notebook like a blank one i usually attach this to the front so i know that this notebook goes with that particular kit if i need some extra writing space next we have the um die cut pieces and it comes with this fun texture every time every month they do a fun texture it's like fabrics or burlaps um lace doilies this month is this really pretty vellum piece with that alcohol ink pattern again i have plans to kind of show you how to do this on vellum but also how to do it and then scan it in and print it on vellum um so you can do some more of this it's so so pretty i love love that and i get a lot of questions because i've periodically played with alcohol inks you guys have seen it on instagram and you wonder how i incorporate that into bible journaling i don't necessarily use it for bible journaling um, but i have some plans to show you some different ways you can if you do have alcohol inks or maybe it's a different medium you want to play with but you've also got some floral elements these are just super pretty you know i love florals so if you're going to combine purple and florals i'm happy um you've got some little alcohol ink blobs these are just fun little textures to layer on your page mixing those in with some watercolors would be super fun some title pieces and then you have a ton of these really fun doorways these are so cool just all of these doorways with those florals incorporated really really pretty i mean these are just fun and different not anything that i've really seen in bible journaling before so very very different um these would be fun to layer like you know add your title here alongside it and then do your journaling i think would be really pretty just really fun textures and you will see those textures those stone textures throughout the stamp sets and things like that so there's a look at the die cuts and then that vellum piece there and again, you do get all of these in the free printable as well. If you want to print them out different scales or different mediums. Here are the alpha stickers. These are a white alpha sticker and they've got this fun kind of stone texture in the background. You have plenty of each letter extras of the vowels. You do have some ampersands and some punctuation in there as well. And then last but not least, you have the four by six stamp set. I always forget to mention these are not the pockets they come in. They come wrapped in plastic. I insert them into these pockets. I will try to link these down below. If they have them in stock at By the Wolf or God, I'll link there. If not, I'll link to you some other places that you can find these pockets. Um, they're just really convenient for storing your stamps and you know keeping them in a basket. But here's the four by six stamp set that comes with the kit. And they just have these fun little, you're going to see this blueprint type theme throughout some of the graphics. And so with blueprints, these are typically like measurements that you see. But instead of measurements, they put in truths. Trust God. Jesus loves me. This I know. He is great. Uh, God's promise. And there are different keys, locks, um, little door um door banger is that what you call them door knocker door knocker <laughs> hinge doorknob so just some fun building type pieces um in there and so here is a look at how those 
stamp out. Really, really fun and pretty and different. It's very ornate. I love that. Um, so if you are a vintage loving girl, you can get out your distress inks and make everything very vintage and fun. Um, or if not, just go in for really vibrant purples and teals would be really fun as you paint those in. So there's a look at the This I Know devotional kit. Again, that will be linked down below for you guys. That's everything that comes in the kit. Now let's take a look at some of the add-on goodies that they have in the shop. Okay, so we have the pack of two blank traveler's notebooks. So these do, do come in a pack together. You have this one here with the purple on the front, and then it has this geometric pattern on the inside. These are just blank pages. It's the same paper that they use inside their devotional booklets. So it's a little bit thicker than just regular printer paper. These are great if you want some additional space to journal out the prompts, maybe do some prayer journaling, study notes, verse writing, I mean, sermon writing. There's all kinds of things that you guys have used these for. It's a thick enough paper that if you want Wanted to use watercolors and paints you can just don't get too crazy with the water um, but they do hold up pretty well and then there's this print here with those really pretty purple florals and the inside is this like light purple speckle pattern and again just blank notebook so I've seen lots of gals I myself have done it before as well rather than journaling directly in my bible I will create my art in here do my journaling in here so if you're somebody who's new to bible journaling um, and you just don't feel comfortable painting in your bible maybe you got a brand new bible for Christmas and you're just not quite ready to dive in with paints and things um, this is a great alternative for bible journaling or faith journaling is in one of these traveler's notebooks and they will fit in a traveler's notebook system um, which is really nice if you're not familiar with traveler's notebooks I will link a video down below that I did talking about what traveler's notebooks are, how to use the covers, um, different resources and things like that. I will have linked down below for you guys. I forgot to mention the extra free goodies. So this is one of the perks to ordering from By the Well for God is they have all kinds of free goodies. So depending on how much you spend it determines what you get here. Um, the first 200 people that order during the pre-sale are going to get this fun um, little mini stencil with these keyhole um, design in there. So that's already passed. That was for the first 200 that ordered. And then this package, everybody gets this package. But if your order was over $37.50, you get this package with the little mini stamp set. If your order was under $37.50, I believe is the threshold, you just get this package here without the stamp set. So there's the mini stamp set. This, I know they're all separate. Um, pieces so you can kind of play around with the, the arrangement and then again these are just your free bonus goodies so you got an extra verse card with some fabric clips some extra journaling cards and then a set of tile alphas so these are just the freebies even if you're not ordering the kit even if you're just placing an order for other things you always get freebies in your package and then you've got your um, note card with information about where to find them online um, a little thank you for ordering this kit and then a peek into next month's kit, Our First Love. This will be perfectly timed for Valentine's Day. We're going to be going through um, a section of Revelation and looking at one of the churches in Revelation, which I'm super excited about. Um, my church has been doing a study through Revelation on Sundays, and so I'm really excited for that. All right, this month we have a couple options for papers. So they are have the six by six papers, but they're also releasing a six by eight option. So same patterns, but you can either choose six by six or six by eight. Of course, the pricing is going to be a little bit different. I love the six by eight option, and I'm so excited that they offer this because this is perfect, um, almost perfectly fits all the way to the top of a traveler's notebook page. That was something that always, like, I always like, oh, I really want to like fill a whole page with a paper. And with a six by six was hard to do. So with a six by eight, you can cover that. And most Bibles are about eight inches tall, most journaling Bibles. Um, and so you could do, you know, tear off and do a border strip. You could do a whole margin with this. So I really love that the six by eight option um, gives you some more versatility than just the six by six. But if you're somebody who just uses it for die cutting or punches or things like that, then maybe the six by six is plenty for you. Um, these are double sided. You get three pages of 16 different patterns, I believe is what it is. They're double sided. So I've already gone ahead and switched mine a side, B side, and then I'm only showing you two, but there are three. So you'd get three of this pattern. Um, so here is a side, B side. You have these doorknobs. There's even like some like vintage detail on there and then this fun kind of teal blueprint pattern you have this one here with the stones and then a fun wood plank pattern love that um, this one here with the stripe 
And then this beautiful alcohol ink pattern. And that is just so, so pretty. It's coming off more blue on camera. It's actually more green, like a teal color. Um, this one here has like a chevron mixed in with some flowers. And then you've got some purple and black polka dot again with some like distressing on it. Love that. You have this fun cube geometric pattern and then a green, um, like, I don't know. What is this called? I'm drawing a blank. I have a horrible headache. I feel like trash. So <laughs> um, it's kind of like a tweed fabric pattern there. You have this one here with these little notebooks. How cute is that? So you could fussy cut those out and then journal on them. This is also great if you want to use your typewriter. So you could leave them intact and then run this through your typewriter and type out on here and then just fussy cut them out. It makes it a lot easier. They all do also have a mini stamp set. I'm not sure if this is still available in there, but they do have a mini stamp set of that little clipboard. So I'll be sure to have that in the stamp section as well, linked down below. Um, but there is that paper in the back side. Again, is another one of those alcohol ink patterns and that deep, deep um, purple there. You have a floral and this blue grid. Again, lots of fun texture on there. Love the detail. You've got these like drawn out pencils and then a purple geometric pattern. And then these are the repeating patterns. So there's a look at all the patterns in the patterned papers. Again, you have the six by six or the six by eight options um, in the shop there. All right, next up, we have some foundation plans, journaling cards. In the past, we've seen boarding passes. We've seen prescription pads. These are going to be a little bit different. These are more like a blueprint um, paper. I've never taken a, um, oh, what's it called? a drafting class. I've never taken a drafting class, but I imagine those of you who have, this probably looks pretty familiar to you. So it kind of has little like details on the side here that you would see like on a, a blueprint paper. There is space to write the book and the verse on here. And then you've got some room to journal your notes. So it just gives you a fun, different element to use to do your journaling, maybe create some tip-ins, things like that. If you're working in just a regular Bible and not a journaling Bible, these are great to add little tip-ins and things. So you get three of each color. You've got green, purple, lighter green, and then gray. So that is a separate add-on item that you can purchase to coordinate with the kit. Next up, we have the stencil. So this is stone arches, and it is a repeating pattern. So when you line it up, you're able to repeat the pattern and create these fun stone arches. I have a tip Tuesday all about stencils, giving you different mediums that you can use through your stencil and get the best results possible. Um, I like the By the Well for God stencils because they are a little bit flexible. So they kind of form to your page a little bit easier, which gives you the best results. So there is the stone arches stencil nothing on the back. So I will be sure to be using that in a future video so you can see how to use that stencil there. Next, we have the This I Know Foundation Labels. So this is something we've been offering the last few months, um, coordinating label stickers. So you get three of each color and they're different like shapes. They have different elements on there. Some have graphics from the kit, some don't. Um, so, you know, you probably want to use those up with your kit. And then if you've got leftovers, you can mix and match them with other projects that you're doing. So you get kind of a brown, deep teal, lighter teal, green, and then a purple. And it just gives you some additional spots to journal and just gives you some different um, elements to add to your Bible journaling. Next, we have the alphabet stickers. So these are two different listings. You have a set of five um, tile alphas. So these, again, are colors that are going to coordinate with the kit. You get five of them. They have plenty of each letter as well as numbers and punctuation. I love mixing and matching the tiles with these alphas here. These are the same font as the alpha that comes in the kit, but these are on clear sticker paper. So you get seven of these. So seven colors and patterns that coordinate with the kit. And again, they are lots of vowels, ampersands, punctuation. There's also the outliner um, stamp set that coordinates with this. So I know lots of us, especially for these lighter colored alphas, have a tendency to go in and outline these with our pen. Sometimes that can be a little tricky. So there's the outliner stamp set that is perfectly shaped and sized to fit alongside these. And so you can then stamp your outlines if that's a little bit easier for you. Um, but you get seven of those. This one here has that um, stone pattern. This one has kind of little flex in it. So there's even um, some detail in those stickers as well. So those are the two different alpha sticker options. 
All right, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know stamps are my absolute favorite and this release is no different. So there is a six by eight stamp set. Um, if this is not still available, I do believe they'll be restocking it. So just keep that in mind. But this is the Cornerstone Alpha and mine. This is six by eight, this is four by six. So you'll see the price differencing in that. This is a much larger stamp set. Getting a full alpha and numbers in here as well as some punctuation items, which is great. And this is a really cool kind of roughened, distressed um, alpha, nice big bold. This is going to be a staple alpha for me. Um, I'm always kind of reaching for my Tim Holtz ones that are no longer available. Um, my foam ones, because they kind of give this distressed look, but those aren't available anymore. So if you weren't able to get those, or if you're, you know, seeing them and wanting them, this would be a great alternative to that. Really nice. Let me tell you how tall these letters are. The letters are about... Uh, about one and a quarter inch tall is about how tall the A is. So that kind of gives you an idea of how big those alphas are. So love that. So it's the cornerstone alpha. Next up, we have the foundational fillers stamp set. So you've got four kind of border stamps and these are meant to kind of nestle into each other. So you could do a border stamp with them. You've got some um, stones, some bricks, some like smaller roughened stones, and then some wood planks. These also would be great to pair with the blessed tag stamp set. Um, we had a stamp that did some thinner borders and like washi strip type borders, um, but I think these would be great to pair with the blessed tag stamp as well um, to kind of give some texture to the bottom if you wanted to, or just, you know, stamping in a lighter color on a background to create some fun backgrounds, just lots of different things that you can do with these. Utilizing those different mediums. Don't have to just stamp with inks. You can stamp with Neo Color 2 crayons, which gives you more of a watercolor look. Um, so lots of different ways that you can use this foundational fillers stamp set. I love, love, love that one. Next, we have the foundational alpha. So this is gonna be a little bit smaller of an alpha than the cornerstone alpha. No numbers, just alphas, but you're gonna see these fun kind of blueprint details mixed in there, which is really fun. And it kind of has this sketchy fill to it. All um, uppercase. So there it kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like when you stamp it all out in a phrase. Really just kind of fun and different. I don't know about you, but alphas are a favorite of mine. They're one of those ones where if you have limited funds to invest into stamps, I always say invest in alphabet stamps. They're just one of those ones that you get tons and tons of use out of. They go with just about anything, depending on how you change the colors and that kind of thing. And so they're just one of those ones that are good to invest in. Another good one to do are background stamps. So this is the Blueprint Texture Background Stamp. Um, you can either stamp this in its entirety, which you can do, but I actually like to just stamp these kind of um, in pieces. So I typically leave it on the um, backer sheet and then I just kind of like rock and roll it and press it onto my page to give me kind of an imperfect background look. Um, and this is gonna be all these kind of fun geometric shapes. Again, just blueprint is kind of what we're going for. Really great way to start off the page. If you have um, where you're, you know, kind of get fearful of a blank page, blank white page, this is a great way to start with like a light ink color just to get some texture on the page and then layer your elements on top. So there's the blueprint texture. Next, we have Hope's Door. This one is so pretty. I've shown a few stamps in the past that are great for stamping with water-soluble mediums and then going in like the water um, reactive markers. Now, those do bleed through in your Bible, so you might want to page prep before you use those. Um, but you can stamp in those markers and then use the water to kind of draw out the color to create this no line watercolor look which I think is really pretty so I'll be showing you that um, it's got some little filler pieces like some more vines this little sketchy bird and a butterfly so you can kind of fill in the image but this is just so pretty and so if you're working in a planner if you're working in a different journal um, you know maybe you want to create a bible journaling page with this door and then incorporate it into your planner for that week and then incorporate it into your journal for the week so there's no reason why you can't use this over and over if you're a card maker, I think this would be a really pretty card. Again, if you're doing that kind of watercolor look with it, you can stamp it in black ink and just color it in no problem. But the way that this is drawn, I think would be really pretty to do that kind of watercolor look 
Here you can see the vines kind of stamped off the edge is really pretty and can create an entire scene just with this stamp. And maybe mix and match with some of your other stamps to create an entire scene with it. Next up, we have Tools of the Trade. I know I get lots of questions about this also. Bible journaling products for boys and men. It's so hard to find anything that's manly. This is one of those that I think that would be good for this. So we're talking about blueprints, drafting. And so these are some of your drafting tools. You've got a compass, um, pencil, sharpener, ruler. Love this, this I know. Um, if you are very careful with a sharp pair of scissors. You could cut right here and separate the this I know from the pencil. Um, it does not make your stamp cry, I promise. And then that way you could stamp this pencil by itself or just stamp it, um, the words, and then you could still piece it together on your block and stamp it in its entirety. But this would be a great one for those boy journalers if you're looking for some more manly stamps. Of course, there's no reason why girls can't use it, but I like to point out when there's something I think that would be great um, for those boys that want to journal with us. So there's a look at the stamp sets. And then last but not least for the This I Know release are the digitals. So um, when you order the devotional, you do get a free printable of the graphics from the devotional. This here is a separate listing. So this you can purchase all by itself. Um, this offers some different papers and some more cut apart pieces. So maybe if you are not wanting the six by eight papers or six by six papers, this gives you some paper patterns. Um, these are on sale until Wednesday. You can get them 20% off. So now would be the perfect time to run over and grab those. Um, you can print these on whatever medium. So this one here, I think would be really pretty printed on vellum or clear sticker paper, and then cut pieces of it out and create a background on your page. You have the doorknobs with the purple color there. You've got that stone background and my dryer in the background again. <laughs> um, you've got this wood plank pattern, these fun rulers. Again, you could fussy cut these out and use them on their own or use it as a pattern. This sheet here is really fun. So it's got these like watercolor backgrounds with these title starters. This is one I printed on cardstock, but I think would be really pretty printed on clear sticker paper or even vellum or transparency. Um, and so you've got some titles. Jesus loves me. This I know. Look for his glory. Don't waste this. We need hope. And these are going to pair with the devotional content topics. And then at the bottom, you have some additional tabs down there. These are all one purchase here. They all come together. You get all these sheets. So you've got some library cards. I know a lot of you love to use the library cards, um, type on them or do your journaling on them. I also like to make a pocket in the front of my Bible and keep track of the different entries that I've done. These are great for that. Um, you've got some banners and then these fun little circle icons over here. And then last but not least is the sheet of washi. So if you printed this on white paper, or white sticker paper or clear sticker paper, you could make these into like washi strips. Um, I just printed it on cardstock for now, but you've got lots of different patterns in different widths. Love that floral. You've got some keys, those rulers. So lots of fun patterns to just kind of give you some additional goodies to journal with as you work through the kit. So there's a look at the This I Know release, but I wanted to show you one more thing they have in the shop here. So Lori and Tom were super sweet and sent me this Hosanna 2021 planner. This is something that they're carrying in the shop. This is one of the perks to them being over on their own website, bythewellforgod.com versus being on Etsy as they can start offering some more of these types of items. So they have the new Hosanna revival planners. I have only seen these on Instagram. I hadn't got my hands on one of these and it's probably the prettiest planner I've ever had. I pulled out another planner that I had and was planned on using it for 2021. Um, and then I opened this package last night and I was like, oh my gosh, no, I'm using this. So um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Hosanna um, Bibles. They've been around for a while. The gal that founded Hosanna um, Bible. She used to hand paint every Bible, but then she was able to partner and start mass producing. Um, and so she does paint these, but now they are just printed on the Bibles and the planners. So um, you've got those really beautiful florals. It is a coil binding. I did notice that you can see with my desktop, these are definitely a cream colored paper. So I do want to point that out in case you are very particular about the paper. It is a nice paper. It doesn't bother me. Um, but here you can see it's definitely not white. It is cream. Um, but 
<laughs> just lots of fun details like this magnetic bookmark. So rather than having, you know, like a tip in or a bookmark or a dashboard, you've got this magnetic corner piece that you can attach to whatever week or day that you're working on. And then it just gives you an easy way to flip to where you're at in your planner, which is really nice. And there's just, it's just beautiful. You've got all of these drawn out florals throughout the planner. Um, I mean, just Every title, every month starter has these really beautiful florals that you could go in and color in with colored pencils. I don't know that I would go in with markers. You can see some um, ghosting. This is not like Bible journaling paper where you could go nuts with markers and things like that. Um, I can do some further testing if you're curious about that with pens and things like that to see what works in here as I've done in past. Leave me a comment down below if you'd want me to go through and test pens and markers and things like that. I can, but you've got a section for important dates. You've got a contact section. Now I know a lot of us have our phones, but it's good to have analog also in case our phone get lost, in case our phone, you know, something happens to it. It's nice to have important um, information written down and not just in your phone. It did start back in August of 2020, um, but it's a 17 month planner. So you, uh, if you were to get it right now, you would have enough for the full year of 2021. And like I said, the dashboards or entries for each month are super pretty. You've got room, things to remember. So maybe some goals for the month that you have, maybe some important things going on for the month you can document there. Um, there's scripture throughout. So here we have John 3.30. In January, I will. So maybe you've got a goal set for that month. You can put that there. And again, plenty of area to color if you want to. Here's the monthly view, pretty standard um, planner monthly view there. A place for notes. Again, you've got that scripture carried through. So maybe if you want that to be your, of, you know, you're trying to memorize verses. So memorizing that verse for the month. This is what I super love. I have tried so many planners and I just can't get one that totally works for me um, and for what I want to do. If I'm verse writing, I like it to be a box where I have plenty of room to verse. But if I'm using it as a functional planner, I want to just write out a list. And so this is list form. So you've got your week starting with Sunday. Again, love that. It drives me nuts when planners start on Monday. My week starts on Sunday. I go to church on Sunday. That is the beginning of the week for me is Sunday. I know that's not for everybody, but that's for me. So I like that it's Sunday to Saturday. Um, you've got a little note taking area. You've got a month at a glance area, um, a banner for my week. So maybe you want to put some kind of title there if you wanted to thoughts and things. So again, another area to document. And then you've got these check boxes. So whether you want to use that as a to-do list or appointments or we you know whatever it might be, you've got those lists. So again, a functional planner, which I appreciate. In the back here, you've got an area for notes. You've got some blank areas just with verses. So maybe you want to practice some hand lettering in the back. You can definitely do that. You've got a little pocket area to hold on to all your stickers and goodies that you might be using in your planner. And then the back is just gorgeous. Look at this gold detail. My grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness. I mean, it's just such a beautiful planner. So if you're wanting a more in-depth look at how I plan on using this and different products that will work in here, let me know down below. Um, but these are available over at bythewellforgod.com. I do believe that they have a few different um, cover options as well. So you can check that out. So there is a look at everything that's been released over at By the Well. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything. Head on over to my blog for those color swatches and close-up photos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.